What sauce a skill you had as a child but lost as an adult. Guitar playing is something you do not retain if not kept in practice. Middle school me could play whole songs on guitar and blow people away with it. Adult me picks up a guitar like well there's a G chord. It's like a cozy little house. And then you step outside with a C chord. And then it gets cloudy when you play in a minor. And then you strum a G chord and you're right back in the house. Double quote. I was very good at drawing. Everyone in my family assumed I'd be an artist since I was a child. Eventually. However. I just lost the desire to do it. My pieces could take 20-40 hours and I just never felt like it. If I have that kind of time. I have many other hobbies I'd rather be doing. It's been about 10 years since I've completed a piece. Sometimes I feel sad, and even guilty, thinking about how good I could be today if I'd have stuck with it. Every once in a while I'll doodle on a restaurant receipt. Draw a little something for a niece or nephew. Or make a detailed sketch of some building project I'm about to start and get I didn't know you could draw. Response from someone which feels good. But it hasn't been enough to get me to sit down at the drawing desk, which I'm not sure why I still have. Same thing happened to me. If I doodle something now. I can still see that bit of talent in it. But it looks like crap compared to what I'd create as a teenager. It's not that I ever wanted to be an artist. Per se. But I wish I hadn't let the skills I'd worked so hard for fade away. I once sat outside a gift shop and cried until they gave me a toy for being cute. Nowadays I would probably go to jail. As a kid I was exploring by myself and some Asian barber saw me and asked the kiosk owner nearby to give me free ice creams. I basically had free ice creams for life but barely used it since I was, still am, shy and didn't want to take too much. It was around 10 years ago and I wonder if either of them are still there. There's a picture of me somewhere as a kid basically tightrope walking across a very narrow 9 or 10 foot high brick wall at my parents place to try and get a football down off a garage roof. I remember doing it too. And having absolutely zero fear. Safe in the knowledge that I fell off I'd pretty much bounce and be fine. Nowadays I have serious concerns when I climb a step ladder to change a light bulb that I might fall off that single step. Land funny. And die in agony having my face eaten by cats that I don't even own. Being fearless and squishy is basically a kid's superpower. I used to be goodish at gymnastics. I could do front and back handsprings and walkovers. The splits. And various vaults. Now I'm made of muscle pain. And bad joints. And my shoulder predicts the weather in the most painful way it knows how. I used to have a magic spot on my bedroom floor where I could throw all my clothes. The next day. They would have disappeared from the floor and would be in my closet. All freshly cleaned. I don't know if it's a skill that I have lost or if something is wrong with my room now. But since getting my own place. No matter where I throw my clothes. They just stay there on the floor until I have to eventually and begrudgingly pick them up and wash them myself because I have run out of clothes to wear. In my youth. I was the top freestyle swimmers in Korea. On the junior Olympics team. Swept gold medals in the tournaments I participated in, still have them back in parents house. Unfortunately. Combination of serious illness and family struggles brought me to US. And stopped swimming. Few years later. Competitor of mine. Taiwan Park. Won the 400 meter freestyle in 2008 Beijing Olympics. Writing novels. I used to be on the top of many online writing sites as a 12 year old kid. My stories literally had 4 chapters and I'd make it to the top. I made the mistake of showing it to my mom. Who hit me and screamed at me because I was writing romance fiction. Made me delete my accounts. I never wrote again. Completely lose myself in my imagination. I used to play army in the woods armed with nothing but a stick. Which was of course the ultimate rifle. Comma and for hours play through military missions. Storming fortresses. Saving damsels. And being the hero. And X200B. Stupid adulting ruins everything. I ran everywhere. In high school I was on the cross country team and capable of doing a 5 minute mile pace. If I wasn't running I was riding my bike. 
as an adult. I'm 50 pounds heavier and have a bad back and knees. I still walk whenever I can but going on those long runs isn't happening. Enjoy your health while you can. Screaming. Seriously. I can operatically warble. Both masculine and feminine tones. Emulate shouting. And get loud. But scream? Nope. Not even a manly scream of pain. If I try. My voice just cut out. It's very weird. 0-0. Zero zero. Hello. Resident extreme metal vocalist. I can completely relate. Ever since I was about 18, started learning to proper scream at 16-ish, I noticed I have lost that natural. Primal. Scream. Like if I'm freaking out and need to let loose in a pillow. It always defaults to a technique. My personal running theory is that us vocalists that do a lot more than basic singing. Which is very fucking hard not bashing anyone. Retrain our vocal cords to protect themselves from overexertion and anything that feels like it might do damage. I can do everything from warp to emo screams to full on cataclysm growls. But if I am pissed or frustrated that's all I can do. I have severe social anxiety now. PTSD and BPD don't sort help with that. My dad would always comment to me as a teen. Swat ever happened to brave Rob? You used to always say. S follow me. Rob Sos never shy. S. Did he say man up? S to you all the time? That sounds really annoying. I have had spells of being anxious and depressed sometimes lasting a few months and my dad just kept telling me to cheer up which didn't sort help at all. I thought I would never get out of it and and was having almost suicidal thoughts. I managed to get out of it on my own thankfully. When I was a toddler I spent two afternoons a week at the ski slope. I was a fearless skier in my youth. Tried snowboarding once and was immediately sold. But that came with completely forgetting how to ski and being hopelessly bad at both. I was ambidextrous. I believe I was actually left handed and I was taught to be right handed. I was more left hand dominant as a child and could right or bat left handed. I copied my grandfather who was left handed as well. As time went on. I lost most ability I had to switch using hands for different things. I used to be able to consciously listen to two conversations and pay attention to both at the same time. I remember thinking I was superhuman because my parents cold and sod do it. I remember realizing I lose this ability sometime around middle school, puberty. It's us never come back. As a child. Being a child was by itself a skill. But now at 16. I feel like I'm prematurely adult. Losing all that childhoodness I enjoyed. Meeting new people has become kinda awkward now. Because people assume I go to work when I'm actually studying in 12th grade. Nah. People are erring on the side of caution because people's ages start to get harder to judge at around 16. Better to ask how work is going than embarrass a grown adult asking how high school is for him this semester. I used to be able to twist my torso so fast that my arms would slap my chest and back simultaneously like one of those drums that are double sided with strings and beads on either edge. I looked like one of those inflatable noodle dudes at far dealerships and it was gloriously loud. But my glory days are behind me now. I'm afraid. Don't know if someone had already made this point but the ability to feel like you can just do something without feelings of what other people would think or self doubt. Draw a picture? Hell yeah let me get my Crayless I'll make you a masterpiece. Write a magazine? I've done 4 different sections with puzzles and articles. Learn a dance? Hold my juice hun I'm Beyonce. When you grow up I think people lose the confidence to do something and know they might not be the greatest at it. But it's the act of doing the thing that's enjoyable. And that's what you focus on when you're small. One example that comes to mind is people who say oh I wish I could draw. But everything I do comes out like a stick man so did it for every artist who has ever lived pretty much. But when you are little you don't get as disheartened by that failure to make a photo realistic image the first time you are more inclined to keep doing it. I mean. How many of you all just straight up decided you just couldn't learn to walk talk read get dressed by yourself cause it was too hard. Kids just know they wanna learn and they do it. Bit of a ramble I guess but TLDR the confidence in being creative that comes with naivety. 
seamless fluid speech. My verbal skills were pretty dynamic. Growing up and into my adulthood, I interviewed like a pro. I worked in several fields that were verbally based. And I could talk all day. Isom 56 now and Isov had a heart transplant. Isov been on the heart lung machine twice and this is very rough on the brain. My memory and my verbal skills have been affected. Being able to put my feet behind my head. I stopped doing it as a party trick when I was about 12 because people started making sexual comments. But now I'm really wishing I had that sweet party trick again. Sexual comments be damned. Balance. I used to be able to run around outside in terribly dangerous areas where one misstep and I would have fallen down a cliff drowned become stranded. All barefoot. Innocence to danger. I never realized how terrifyingly dangerous the situations I put myself in. I think the lack of knowledge of the potential outcomes allowed me to so easily navigate without trouble at the time. If my parents saw what I would do, or even knew the crazy areas under the woods connected to their backyard, they surely would have locked me inside wrapped in bubble wrap for the rest of my childhood. Edit. Spelling. I was a fucking poetry prodigy, okay I might be exaggerating, but I was always writing poems. Was very good at rhyming words and had a great sense of rhythm and theme. Every time I had to write an essay sod write it in poem shape and my poems were featured in the local newspaper, lived in an isolated island of less than 500 people but still, now I have great ideas for stories but I dk how to write anymore. The ability to daydream. Right up until my late teens I used to always be thinking up elaborate stories and worlds and characters. It was so much fun but I just can't do it anymore. I find it really strange that it just stopped. I'm still a creative person but I miss being able to entertain myself with my own brain for hours at a time. Playing the piano. And still it's off one of my biggest regrets. As a young child my parents noticed that I would play around on my grandparents piano whenever we would visit. They surprised me with piano lessons never asking me if I wanted to learn and to top it off. It was very strict instruction in a chain smoking old lady's house. After too many recitals and classical pieces of music my adolescent brain cold and sought appreciate I quit because there was no fun in it. It had gone from learning something I enjoyed to school after school with music homework. In hindsight I wish I had persevered because I apparently had have great sense of pitch. To future parents. If you house or going to make your kid learn an instrument. Make sure they learn in a fun environment that encourages learning any style of music. Classical is beautiful to adults. Not so much to a child with no reference. Video games. Back for the short period I was homeschooled and had nothing better do that play Halo Reach. I was godly at SWAT. Like I considered trying to go professional but didn't think I was good enough for the pros. I miss Xbox Live voice messages and how many people accused me of cheating and raged. Then I got into Battlefield 3. And I used to play with only a pistol to make the game more challenging because getting to the top of the leaderboard was too easy with a primary weapon. I dunno. Got older. Got jobs. Started real life hobbies and relationships. I still enjoy video games, but I'm not nearly as good as I used to be.